Hello everyone. So in this short video today, we will learn how to run the Sonar Cube for our ASP.NET MVC project. So first, uh, let us make sure that our Sonar Cube is running. So let's go to the local host, run the Sonar Cube scanner default project, and let's go to straight to the projects, and then create a new project. And uh, I I will I create this as a manually. So let me go to the manually and let me name it sts web okay so the thing is that this is the project name which is unique across all the project which we run in the sonar cube as a, a code analysis and this is a project key right so click on setup and it will open up different uh, option to you to link your code base with uh, this project with this sonar queue project and i'm click locally because i have the project locally available in my view studio okay but we have also choose one of any of option which you have like you can link the project from uh, github lab or you have a big bucket pipeline or you have io pipeline and there are some more ci available okay let me click on locally and here i need to create a unique key so i make it the same what is the project name and say click generate so i have uh, it actually sonar cube created a one uh, guid or uh, the guid uh, for me which is unique to this project and i need to press this button continue so when i press continue it uh, asks me okay uh, what type of the project uh, against you want to run the sonar cube uh, scanner? So I say this is .NET and in the .NET there are still uh, there are another two options one is a .NET core and one is a .NET framework so I have a .NET framework project so okay so these are the three commands which you need to note it somewhere because we will use this uh, later uh, when, I, when we run the uh, command against the uh, project which we right now created okay so let me open the notepad and copy the first command and write it as command one then command two and i need to copy it from here and then come on three which is this so that's it so this is kind of configuration against the project so let me name this project here and save it somewhere on the hard drive for the to use so okay let me save in the uh, desktop right and I name it STS web sonar cube commands.txt. Okay, so now uh, let's look at a little bit uh, into the uh, commands which uh, sonar cube generated first. Let me give me a little bit zoom it Okay. So the first command is the one which actually start the execution against any project. Okay, it says that uh, go to simply the project folder where your project or solution have, and then open the command line and open and run this command from that directory. Right. So, but here is the thing: uh, as this is starting from the sonar scanner.msql.exe, so it means uh, wherever I have set up already set up the sonar queue. Uh, server I need to run this command from that folder right so if you are not familiar with that how to set up the sonar cube then you need to see my other video which I have already uploaded that uh, say okay how to install and configure the sonar cube and then run it against any uh, project so I will provide the link in the description so you will get that video and uh, familiar with yourself that how to configure and install the sonar cube server on the local machine right and okay the next command is that it's an ms it's a very simple one so msp.exe.p.rebuild so this command say 
use the global uh, MS build uh, version, whatever version we studio you have, and then actually uh, Sonar's Cube using that MS build, and then try to build your project straight forward. Okay, so if there is any error in the project, and you can verify this by because I am to going to run this on our cube uh, against uh, code analysis for this project. So first I need to build this either run uh, from go to the menu and can say uh, build solution or I simply uh, press uh, control shift and B and it will uh, build the project for me. Okay, it's a build succeeded. So it means there is no build error currently available in our solution. So uh, I need to run this. Uh, I need to go to the directory of this project and I need to go to specifically the directory which is a starting project of that solution and that is the, this project. So let me go to the state of this. And here I need to open the command line. So CMD. Yeah, okay. So let me go to the state of the file which we have copied, uh, the command one. Okay, if I copy the command and try to run it straight forward, it didn't recognize. So what's the issue? So the issue is that our sonar scanner or MS build or exe actually located in some other folder. So where is that? In my case, it's available in the uh, diff drive in the sonar cube. And it's actually located here. So I need to copy this and go to there and simply need to put the that's one and if you uh, look this carefully that in the command 3 we have again this command where actually we end the execution of the scanner, sonar scanner so let me also paste this command here and push the backslash right so now save it again and copy it and go to these and now okay you see it start analyzing the project and it actually uh, fetching the analysis configuration for that project, provision the analysis assembly for that thing, and detect okay what language or what framework actually used uh, in that project or in that solution. Uh, actually, this is kind of uh, the first step. If the first step is passed, it means our project is ready for the second one. Okay, what is the second step? So the second step says that uh, you simply run the msbuild.exe.3.3.watch. Let me copy it and run it in the same directory. So when I try to execute this command, it says this is not organized. Why? Because I'm using the Visual Studio 2019 version. So I need to find that where is the MS build located in the program file. Okay. For that, I need to go to the C drive, program file, and Visual Studio. Let me go to the Visual Studio. Microsoft Visual Studio. So Microsoft Visual Studio. So here we are. So here we are. And then we go to the uh, version of the our Visual Studio. So I'm using 2019. Let me go to there. Enterprise. And then I need to go to the MS build. And then the current. And after the current, I need to go to the pin. If uh, I need to press the M, it will definitely, okay, here is our target ms.build.exe, right? msbuild.exe, right? So let me copy this path and go to the text file. So let me double quote this and put the backslash here. So now I am referring this MS build command, uh, build exe from this location, right? Let me save it, copy this file, uh, copy this command again, go to the directory again. Okay, wow. So it start executing, it start uh, scanning, it start rebuilding uh, the uh, our target project uh, for the code analysis, right? So second point is something as this project is very short and I have like created for the demo purpose. So it like quickly scans. So if your project size is huge, it might take a minute at some mean uh, more minutes because this is like a very short project. So that's why it's very quickly and it actually uh, analysis and build individual file. Uh, so whatever time your view studio take to build your solution, 
it will definitely take the same time right okay then let me go to the third one the third and last command which says that okay uh, run this in our scanner and uh, run the code analysis and also generate the report for it so let me go to the state here okay so before executing this command i want to show you something uh you know we have created this project and in the sonar uh, uh cube server locally if i go to the project and if i go to the air you see there's nothing uh, so far uh, available against this project right so this is like empty there's no uh, code analysis report is available okay so let me go to state to here and press enter okay now the uh four things are start happening all the individual file either it's a c sharp file either it's a javascript file either it's a html file either it's a, uh, any other language file for example uh, the css file js file jquery file typescript file or you have any other uh, let's say python or other because i'm using the community version uh, of the sonar cube server so it actually support uh, roughly 15 languages so uh, after three and three minutes and five seconds our project is successfully uh, analyzed and the report is generated and it says okay go to this url uh, here right and visit your uh, report so let me go to the local host 9000 and then uh, the project of the right so here we are so you can see uh, we are able to run the sonar cube scanner for our esp dot and mbc project and it's a very simple thing so uh, if you want to know more about the sonar cube configuration or installation or initial setup you need to watch the other video which i have uploaded uh, in which i have in detail step-by-step uh, -step guide that how to configure and install the sonar cube scanner for your project so if we like drill down into different areas of the uh, sonar cube it's so actually it highlight all the bugs which are available in the different files so let's say there's a file name sts configuration so there are some type of vulnerability there is no vulnerability but they have bugs they have food smells they have blockers critical major and all these you can drill down a lot of things so if you can go to scope so it actually uh, always security set to 100 level because there is no compromise on security so if you see the myers right now it says okay this your code has let's say have this much bug this much rating and uh, redemption effort so four days and two hours are required to fix this code and to make this code to the a level code right so, and this is the over uh, so as this solution uh, against uh, we run the sonar cube scanner actually have two library projects and one block project so it actually uh, make the report for individual project too so the this is also like the drill down you can uh, see individual folder go to the individual file even and see what are the uh, different file status right and that's just the activity so whenever you run it uh, for the second time and then the next consecutive run it actually generate report from uh, from the uh, uh, today's or uh, from this run to that day or whatever you do uh, day choose in the filter so that's it so hope you will like the video and if you still have any question or, or confusion to run the sonar cube scanner of, against the asp.net mbc project simply comment me in the uh, in the comment box I will sure reply to you and I will try my best to help you and guide you to run the Sonar Cube. So thank you very much for watching this video. Goodbye.